Welcome back to What's New. We continue now our Rediscovering Ohio series by traveling to Cleveland's Little Italy neighborhood. It's just a fabulous place. If you haven't been there, I strongly encourage it. We're there for the annual Feast of the Assumption celebration. And in recent years, the fanfare and the fun surrounding the feast has really grown beyond just the Italian-American community. Whether you love the Holy Day traditions or maybe the newer additions, there is certainly something for everyone to enjoy. So our Mike Polk Jr. sat down with one local business owner to talk about highlights of years past and present. It's changed a lot. Church used to make a lot of the food and old ladies in the neighborhood would make a lot of food. Guys would gamble on the streets back then. It's a Cleveland tradition that harkens way back to 1898. Local boy President William McKinley was in office. The Cleveland Spiders went 81 and 68 at League Park, and Little Italy hosted its very first Feast of the Assumption celebration. Now, after a missed pandemic year, the feast is back. And according to La Dolce Vita owner and neighborhood emissary Terry Tarantino, they're ready to roll. We're looking forward to a very busy time. We want everybody to be safe. Unsurprisingly, there have been some changes over the past 122 years. Originally, the feast primarily involved people living in the neighborhood, but as the tradition continued, the scope of the celebration expanded, along with the attendance. Yeah, it was very intimate, and it was uh, very special, but those days are gone, and now the best thing we can do as Italians and, and Catholics is share what we enjoyed and our memories as children and the people in this neighborhood that were born here, they worked very hard to make this one of the best destinations in Cleveland. Tarantino says it's important for people to remember what the gathering is all about. You know, a lot of people really don't even know what the feast is. It's the day Mary ascended into heaven. This started with a procession from the church with the statue of Mary. Always on the 15th. Always on the 15th. Yeah, a lot of people get confused. The 15th is the holy day. It's a holy day of obligation, and that is the day that we have the procession every year. But the other major part of the procession, by the way, is the, is the Italian band. It's an authentic Italian band, and, and the sounds of it are old school, and, and, and it's delightful. Do you mind that you're sharing this now with other cultures? I think if people embrace Italian culture, and embrace uh, Catholicism. Uh, that's what this is about, primarily. I think we should uh, bring them in. As we have embraced people from different backgrounds, uh, they are here and uh, they are enjoying Italian food and culture. If you're hitting the feast, here are some recommendations from a real insider. Well, you better get some of our tomatoes, either tomato salad or caprese. My friends at Maxi's make unbelievable calamari. My friends at Tolly, the Murray Hill Burger is unbelievable. The food is good, the wine is good, but uh, you have to understand the why. When it comes to annual events, they don't come much more authentically Cleveland than the Feast of the Assumption. And after having to take a year off, we've got some making up to do. This is Mike Polk about to go carb up and gain 10 pounds for three news. <laughs> You don't look any heavier. Thank you. Not yet. Not yet. I mean, it's a long weekend. So yeah. the feast is uh, going on now, and I, I just spent some time with Terry Tarantino, who's an amazing person. Can we agree on that? Oh, that absolutely. He's quite the character. And he had, we talked for like 15 minutes, and the hardest thing about it was every single person saying hi to him on the way by. <laughs> oh, trying to shoot something. He's, he's like, the mayor, right? Terry. And he's like, hey, hey. I'm just like, geez. And that's what you had to deal Back with. Back to the question, yeah. Though, right? Yeah. <laughs> but he was great. He was, and so he was, and I just love, I just want his swagger one day. Just, mm. he's just, you know, the Panama hat and the, and the, and the muscle shirt and he stuff. He pulls it off. Yeah, but he is, he's, he's much beloved down there, and his, that's a great restaurant. There's a million great restaurants down there, obviously, and I could have talked to that guy all day, but he was he was very busy, and the mayor's a busy man down there. Yeah, that's pretty you much got, what he is. Yeah, you gotta hold court all mm -hmm. day, every day. Yeah. I love all the, there's so many wonderful restaurants down there, it's impossible to pick one. Mm -hmm. I, I am a little, I love Mama Santa's. It's just kind of a family style, older yeah. school. But I just love the neighborhood feel yeah. down there. Yeah. It is, it's, it, you I feel mean, it, old school. Well, it there. is a neighborhood. You know, my father-in-law yeah. grew up on Coltman. And oh, cool. so I loved how you hit the history of, yep. of it because it is so important to the Italian-American community. Mm -hmm. And I think now they're just letting us all in and letting us come enjoy the pasta. And, even Ginger's like me. Yeah. I sat down with him. He looked at me. He's like, eh, all right, I'll talk to him. I'll talk to <laughs> we'll him. We'll let him in. Thanks to Terry for his time. Yeah. Thanks, Thank Mike. you. And now I'm hungry, by the way. So yeah. thanks.